If you wanna save money on your wedding, don't do it by having a cash bar. And I know this is controversial, so bear with me. So in the US, the average wedding costs $30,000 as of 2022. And that is obviously a humongous amount of money and no one should ever go into debt to fund a wedding. And of course, most people will wanna cut costs somewhere. But for the most part, throwing a big traditional wedding is a one-time expense. Whereas attending a wedding is something a lot of us will do dozens or more times in our lives. And for an out of town wedding, the average cost of attending is around $660 per person if it's something you're driving to. And that goes up to more like $1,200 if you're flying. And if you don't want alcohol at your wedding for religious reasons or for personal reasons like you just don't drink, that's totally fair. But if you do wanna have alcohol at your wedding, a cash bar just adds yet another expense to what your guests are already paying to attend. And this may be an unpopular opinion, but weddings are not just about the couple getting married. They are also about the people you're inviting to come celebrate you. If you're having a large traditional wedding, having a cash bar isn't cutting down the wedding budget. It's just offsetting that cost to your guests. And ultimately what